hey, White Hill Middle School students, uh, thanks so much for having me today. It was really a lot of fun to answer your questions and to sort of like hang out with you on Skype uh, for like 45 minutes. So thanks so much. Um, your librarian emailed me the questions that you didn't have time to ask, and I promised I would make a short video answering them. So here we go. What do you hope happens after someone reads your book? What do I hope happens? Well, I mean, on a basic level, I just hope they enjoyed it and they got to be entertained and escape their life and get involved in a story um, for a few hours. That's I like telling stories and I like to read because I like to get away. So that's the primary function. Um, in terms of do I want do I have some kind of other agenda? I mean, I hope it opens their minds and their hearts and maybe educates them about what it means to be gender fluid um, and gets them to to think about that. So I think that's probably what I hope when someone reads my book and that they love it and tell all their friends about it and tell them to read it, of course. that's That would be nice. What's the most exciting thing to happen to you after publishing this book? The most exciting thing after publishing this book. Um, wow, the most exciting thing. I, so I got to fly to Virginia and participate in the Novatine Book Festival and I got to meet some really awesome authors who I really admired and respected and like sit on a panel with them and like I was one of them uh, and that was it's super exciting. Um, I got to do the LA Times Book Festival this year which is a really amazing huge event and I was on a panel with four authors who've been around way longer than I have um, and to be perceived as part of that club is still something I'm not used to and it feels really great. Um, you know, you feel accepted, like what you did was legitimate and that's always um, huge. But I think the most exciting thing are the emails I receive from readers saying that they were moved by my book or that it, it helped them discover something about themselves um, or that it made them cry. I just, it's really touching to think that something that I created um, was moving. Have you heard from members of the LGBTQ community or from fans? Yes. Um, I have had emails from readers who said, I didn't know what was going on with me. And when I read your book, I realized I was gender fluid. Um, I've had moms of teenagers read my book and say, thank you for helping me understand my kid better. So that is amazing. Um, and I do, I, I get, uh, I get emails from, from fans, um, through my website sometimes. Um, and I love every single one and I try to reply to every single one, um, Sometimes people message me on Instagram and Facebook, and I'm not as good with that as I am with email. Um, but I try to respond to everybody. Um, I know how important it would be to me if I wrote an email to an author. Um, so hopefully I can keep up with that. Um, but I love hearing from readers. Um, many authors hope to entertain or inform their readers. Do you think people who write for children have an added responsibility to their audience? Do I feel like they have an added responsibility? Um, that's a tough one. As an artist, as a creative person, I want to say I have complete freedom and I shouldn't have to think about that. But as a, as a human being, um, I do think about uh, the impact that my words are going to have on readers. Um, so yes, I think that as a YA writer, I do have a responsibility um, to take into account that my readers may be experiencing things in my book for the first time. Um, or that they might be more affected by something they read in my book than an adult um, would be. On the same note, I think it's really important not to underestimate young readers and teenagers, not to talk down to them, not to pretend that they don't know what's going on. Um, it, just because of the internet, I think teen readers have more access to things outside of their immediate world than I did when I was a teen reader. So I think it's important not to condescend, but I think, yeah, you have to, you have to consider your audience and treat them with respect. Um, and sometimes that means um, being careful about the kind of words you use. You weren't always an author. Did any of your past jobs help you to become a better writer? Absolutely. I think everything I've ever done uh, informs my writing. Certainly being an actor and studying the psychology of human behavior and, and analyzing scripts and, and figuring out what characters' motivations are and, and, and how, they, how to navigate a script as a performer 
uh, helped. Um, writing song lyrics is takes a lot of discipline. You, you have to be um, rigorous with your language um, because you don't have an infinite number of words in a song. You have a very limited number. Um, so I think that helped a lot. I, I worked in marketing um, before I quit my day job to be a writer and that certainly helped communicating very specific messages to very specific people i think it was like a it was like a workout for my um, word muscles so yeah I, I a writer must always observe and must always listen and any environment you're in can be uh, something that informs your writing what's next for you astronaut <laughs> Oh, I love uh, watching, uh, following SpaceX on Twitter and watching um, Neil deGrasse Tyson, but I don't think astronaut is in my future. Although, they're saying, uh, uh, Elon Musk is saying that I could buy a ticket to Mars in my lifetime. So that I may have to start that savings account uh, at some point. Um, let me see. What's next? Well, I just turned in the first draft of my next book um, that's gonna be coming from Balzer and Bray. Um, so I'm excited about that, I can't really talk about it yet. And now I'm working on the book after that. So I definitely think writing novels is how I'm gonna occupy the next uh, few years as long as it'll have me. Um, after that, I, I don't know. Um, I Music is knocking on my door a little bit. I'd love to do some more writing, recording, and performing music. I think that's in my future. Um, I miss acting. Um, but you know, the, now that I have kids, um, it, it takes a while to, it, it takes a while to change and move into new areas now. The, the ship moves slower the older you get because there's more cargo on it. So, um, but I have a whole life to explore, um, all sorts of artistic endeavors and I hope that I continue to get to do that. Um, thanks so much for watching and for listening. Um, please, uh, sign up for my email list, uh, follow me on Twitter, um, sign up for blog updates. Um, I'm on Facebook too. Find me any way you can and um, let's stay in touch because I'll have another book coming in the next year or two. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.